Hello, I'm Rick, your host on One Minute Tech. Today, I want to talk about choosing optimal hardware for deep learning inference. The inference phase of AI projects is where most of the compute cost is, with over 90% of the compute time spent in inference and only 10% of overall AI project compute time spent on training. One of the things you don't want when building a deep learning system is to waste money on unnecessary hardware. When evaluating deep learning inference hardware, here are the five common factors to consider. FPS and throughput, energy efficiency, data format, programmability, and response time. Normally, the first thing to look at is FPS, frames per second, or throughput. It is the speed of computation execution. If you only consider FPS, the higher number indicates better performance. However, in some application scenarios, it is meaningless when FPS already achieves a certain level. For example, 30 FPS is already good enough for facial recognition in retail. If users buy high-level GPUs, which can achieve 100 FPS, it may not actually be a good choice, given that 60% is underutilized and the cost is high. The second factor is energy efficiency. Some edge devices are very energy constrained in certain environments. For example, when doing inference at edge, the energy may come from a battery, so it won't have the same resources as in a data center. The other reason comes from a cost perspective. In other words, how much FPS users can buy with per watt cost. This may be a major concern in places where the cost of energy is high. Data format is also a factor to consider. There are two types, integer and floating point. In general, floating point format describes data with higher detail level and thus a higher precision. However, it is also due to this higher detail level that floating point computation takes more time. Put it simply, it's a trade-off between precision and response time. Sometimes using integer data formatting would not lose much precision. Therefore, users can try to find a balance according to their application requirements. When developing an application, different platforms offer different software tools. For example, Intel has OpenVINO, and NVIDIA has CUDA and TensorRT. Users have to consider how familiar their team is to the software tools and the different corresponding software ecosystems. The last factor to consider is response time. Response time is a time interval between receiving something and taking action. In general, shorter response times require higher FPS or throughput. It is critical when users have demands for fast response times. Advantech has developed the industry's first hardware and software integrated edge AI solutions to help accelerate computer vision and deep learning for a wide range of AI-based vertical applications. Contact us to learn how Advantech can help your business and solve tough edge AI deployment problems rapidly and cost-effectively. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.